Hi there, my name is Pablo. I'm going to be bringing you a little taste of EverQuest Classic, the Project 1999 emulator team. This, uh, I believe, came out about a year ago, if I recall correctly. And somehow, myself being in the habit of this man, I managed to completely and utterly miss when this came out. And I actually had even years past. Flying Ever Quest, and Kunar, Elias, days. Uh, to even then playing the emulator for a while, I actually worked with the developer team for a short time. Fixed the debugs, and ran that But even among my habitual checking of the EQMU site for announcements over the past, I'd say, few years, I think maybe within the last year, I probably finally started letting that lax. And within that short period of time, now, of course, we've got a really, really nice classic offering. And what this is is still using the Titanium client, so it's not quite as nostalgia-heavy as the EQ Classic approach, which is actually attempting to write a new server to actually work with the um, original client. This one is still using a relatively modern client, but... There's a few little tricks that people have up their sleeves, such as replacing spell icons, modding the user interface to look a bit more like the old Bellius one, and uh, taking out the old, a couple of the old updated zone files and the music to give you some of the original feel. Okay, so now I'm going to create my character. Welcome to EverQuest. Before you can play... I don't like that. Now, let's see, I can't be in Ixar, I don't think. No, good. Should be able to be a frog lot. No. Uh, Vashir, no. I did have a really cool Vashir, though. Shaman. And I remember I convinced a guide, or it was a GM, I think, to give me a surname with an, like a little apostrophe in it. And it was two separate words, and I, normally you're not supposed to be able to get that. But I remember I was able to convince them through a pretty quirky dialogue back and forth, actually. So I really don't know what I want to make. I should just make something to get me into the game. Um, I'm a bit partial to shamans now. I really did enjoy them. I never really did a ranger. Hmm. Did have a really neat bard, though. And... That was fun, but I know that bards have never really worked proper in the emulator. I don't think I've ever seen it properly emul properly implemented yet. Implemented. <laughs> Properly seen and implemented. Um, humans can be a lot of things. Boring. I've played a wizard. Never really. I've played a warrior and emulator a lot. I've never really played a rogue much. Never really played a paladin much. But I played cleric, bard. Never really did druid. I never really did enchanter. Always wanted to do enchanter. That could be fun. Hmm. Let's go with Enchanter. Now the question is, do I want to be good or bad? I've played Dark Elf Casters. They start in Nariac. Very cool. But I could do something like High Elf. High Elf Enchanters, I believe, are some of the best. And I never really did... I think I've started in that area, but it was always... I don't know. Interesting. It would keep me alone for quite a bit. Um, magician. What else could I be? Gnome, of course. They're kind of out in the, the recluse little mountains, though. They're pretty far away, really far away from everyone. I'm not really sure about that. Uh, humans. But nobody wants... Why would you want to be a human? I mean... Human, boring. Boring, boring, boring. 
Dark Elf Enchanter. Always classic. Hmm. Can't be a Frog Arc Enchanter. High Elf Enchanter. Well, let's try it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens to us. So Enchanters, I know use Charisma. They definitely use Intelligence. Stamina can be useful just for surviving fights. I seem to recall always maybe five points in stamina was good, at least for wizards. We have 30 points. If we're to max out, so let's see what this would max out at. I could put all but five into intelligence. Um, something about... Dexterity. Wow, I can actually read what they're for. Yeah, that is very important for enchanters. Hmm. Intelligence is too, though. Two points, two points. 112 intelligence, that sounds good. I'm sure some of you out there are just balking at my selection because you played an enchanter, a high elf enchanter, and you knew exactly the attributes you wanted. And you're just screaming right now because I'm so far off, but... You must now select a deity for your oh, character to... I, I just can't handle that. Why would they do that? Krana, no. Krana, come on. Wussy little crown. I'm not some fucking pussy druid. Agnostic. Maybe if I was making my own character, but I'm not. You do have to follow somebody, I would say. Tunair. Oh no. Okay. I'm confusing. Crown is bad. Tunair. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Nathaniel Marr. Um. Nathaniel Mar, Paladins, yeah. Because, yeah, very cleric y, paladin y type figure. Rosie Mar. Love conquers all. Paladins. You know what? Agnostic. And in fact, if I'm remembering right, in fact, I, I'm pretty sure now. The big deal is if you're going to be an enchanter, you get you get your different uh, illusions and you can go into different cities. But if you're of a certain, uh, if you're of a certain deity, it actually reduces your chance. Oh, I do not want to start the tutorial. I don't think that would start it anyway because of the server I'm going to. But definitely have to be agnostic. And now the question is name. Name, 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 name. Now, did I miss out on how to change his face? Okay, here we go. Okay, this is the first time I've loaded it up. So, I know I need to fix my user interface, but first, I'm going to set up my options. I hear someone moving. That is the coolest thing. Oh, that's so cool. I haven't heard that in so long. And that, and just to see someone around me is what really makes the difference, because, you know, you can have an emulator, and you can have ten people on your server, and it's, it's, it's almost, almost nostalgic. But it's when you have people running around you that it really comes back. So um, turn up realism, whatever the hell this means. And down volume, music way down. Let's see. Complex sky. Gamma needs to come down. Or clip plane all the way. Should be able to handle all of this. It 
shadows. Um, why not? Let's try it out. I would take shadows. I'm not against shadows in a classic world. And yeah, okay. Looks good. 3D target ring. Huh. I kind of want to turn that off. That kind of defeats the purpose of considering. So I would highly recommend turning that off for anyone who wants the classic experience. Mouse look feels good. Commands. If I remember correctly, I got to go back to using the arrow keys, which I do. Um, music seems to only work for a few seconds. That's interesting. What was I going to do? Okay. I think we're good. So now, let's see if I got this in the UI. Mm. There we go. That was it. Oh, awesome. Awesome. All it needs really is the big, the tiny little window here and the like 640 by 480 screen, giant bitmap with a big metting book in my face, and I would be in Cloud9. Arwen's corpse. Arwen, maybe? Huh? Original. Jedi. Ha! Huh. Originality abounds. And they're always the dead people, of course. Reach the Discord. He's always fun. Let's see if he... Yep. And you know, I never did that. And in hindsight, it would have been fun. A little opt-in PvP. Back in the day, that would have been kind of... Would have been kind of neat. But it would have been also a pretty... Pretty big uh, endeavor. Service of the Clerics of Tunair. I kind of doubt it. Let's see what's in my inventory. Um, let's turn off all this. Ooh, this this looks great. This is totally, totally Velius. Totally Velius. And I don't know what all these windows are. Presumably I will find out in time. Um, it's been so long. Is it spells, maybe? Uh, buffs are probably somewhere in here. Maybe buffs and momentary, which really isn't a classic thing anyway, either. Um, spellbook. Spellbook looks like shift B. B, shift B. M. That's a map. Oh, maps. Do not like maps. That's really... I'm going to have to fix that. 